TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets hanging around flat territory, but all in the green right now. S&P is positive by one point, trading at 2792. You get the Dow up 20 points, trading at 25,840. NASDAQ positive by five points, trading at 7583. Oil basically flat, up six pennies at 5665. Gold contract down $3, 1283. And dollar getting some strength up 245 ticks, 96,855. Let's start it off. We'll jump through some of the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So we got quite a little acceleration right at the opening bell. Really, the slide began. 4.30 in the morning, we're at highs of 25,886 in the Dow. We trade down to a low of 25,723. So you're talking about 150 Dow points, but since that level, 9.50 a.m. this morning, we're up more than 100 Dow points at 25,831. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. There's your 4 a.m. highs. We actually peak above that level, though, just about an hour and 20 minutes ago, just off at a bit, 71.60 in the NASDAQ 100. S&P is not quite back up to that 4 a.m., 4.30 high, which was 27.98 in the S&Ps. About six points off that level currently, looking at the March contract of the S&P 500, trading at 27.92. Crude oil with some volatility was up above $57 briefly, back under that level, trading at $56.64. Gold contract trading lower, quite a spike there at around 10 o'clock. Gold trades from about $12.86 down to $12.83.77. And as we've seen some dollar strength, seeing a little bit of euro weakness, under the 113 level, euro trading 112.94. So it's still earnings season. A couple of retailers out there with their earnings this morning. Kohl's jumping on better than expected profit. To dig down to those numbers, there you are. So coal shares, uh, this is the number, up 1% comp sales versus 0.3% expected and comp sales for the year, 1.7. So the market liking that, but guess what? Target outdoes them. To dig down to their numbers, same store sales, 5.3% growth. To pull up those two charts briefly as we wrap this up, there's your Kohl's chart, up about 7% for the day, and Target, up about 4.9%. Stay tuned, folks. we got a replay coming up right now. Steve, Steve Rhodes recuperate, recuperating a little bit today. We're going to replay that 10 o'clock show with Tom and I. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with a power trading hour. And Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Tuesday.